I do video shoots all across the country and I've had a lot of people ask me how I travel with that much gear. Well, here's how I do it. With all that gear, you need a good way to drive it around and the best way to do that is a minivan. I've got the long stand case here for stands and tripods. I've got a case for the Ronin stabilizer. We've got a grip kit. Back here, we've got another Pelican with lights in it. Here we've got another case for the Ursa Mini and its accessories. We've got the Phantom 4 Pro here and a think tank here. You can put other backpacks and stuff up in that area and there's still room for suitcases. To pull something off like this, you're gonna need at least a crew of three. You can make it work with a crew of two if you cut a few corners and you're smart about how you pack. But if you expect to travel with this much gear all by yourself, you are going to be out of luck. It's way too much gear to handle alone and it's gonna be too many bags to check once you get to the airport. It's even better with a crew of four, but for the bare minimum, you're probably looking at a crew of three. I'll push the big stack. I can do Ursa Drone big road case. And big road case? Okay. Yep. With this many bags, you're going to want to fly Southwest. They give you two free bags per person, and they could be media bags if you have a media badge. What's really cool is when you find little ways to optimize your setup. Like, for example, the Ursa case just so happens to fit the drone case perfectly in it. So you can roll two as one. With the media bags on Southwest, they can be up to 100 pounds, but usually you'll have to take them over to the overweight, oversized area, so TSA can inspect them manually. Sometimes you have to wait, sometimes you don't. It just depends. So make sure you plan a little bit extra time if you're traveling with media bags. Once you get all the big bags dropped off, it's a lot easier to make your way through the airport. Obviously, the largest items need to be checked, but you still want to make sure you have plenty of carry-ons for your most precious cargo. Your cameras, your lenses, your memory cards, your audio recorders, your microphones, all the stuff that makes the shoot actually function, you want to keep with you at all times. That way, there's no opportunity for it to be lost or stolen. If you're going to be traveling frequently, I do recommend you get TSA PreCheck. It just makes getting through security so much easier and more efficient. It's 80 bucks, which sucks, but it does last five years. Now, it is becoming more and more popular, so the lines are getting longer, but still, just going through security without having to take your shoes off, without having to take your laptops out of the bags, it just makes everything so much easier and more simple. All right, here's a moment of truth. Did all the cases make it? Well, at least one did. Two down, four more to go. Number three, number four, and number five. This is a special case. It's a Pelican that we custom added all these caster wheels to the bottom. It just makes it really easy for making a stack and being able to roll a bunch of cases together. That's five out of six. You always wanna make sure you count your bags and know exactly how many you have because it is always possible that one of them is gonna show up at oversized. And right here, we've got our stand case ready and waiting for us. Everything made it and we got all six bags. In three years of traveling with this much gear, they've only lost one bag one time. If you are going to be traveling with this much gear, one thing you absolutely have to do is arrive a day early. Otherwise, you're at risk of the airline losing a bag, misplacing it, and then you're out a very important piece of gear. That actually just happened to us today on this shoot. The airline misplaced two of our bags, our stand case and our lighting case. Thankfully, we were here a day early, so we were able to swing by a local production rental shop, pick up the gear that was misplaced, and now we have this as a backup so that when the airline finds our luggage, gets it back to us, hopefully, fingers crossed, that actually does happen, we're back in business with our proper gear, but at least we have the rental gear as a backup. And now, after having spent all day with the stuff packed away and traveling around with it, it's finally time to unpack everything, just so we can then repack it to go home.